All right, we are streaming on YouTube. Welcome everybody. Hopefully people are finding us because it's already seven o'clock. Um, all right, I'm all gonna right. pause that and I'll start streaming. Start recording this. See, Erica lowered your hand automatically. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Did you see it like uh, give you a little countdown and tell you that it's not, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if you see it, just try and catch it. But it, it's it's hard to see because it's really tricky. Um, OK, everybody, welcome. We'll, we'll get started in just a moment. Um, uh, I'm going to share my screen. We're here with Erica Pascal. Uh, let's see. What do I share my screen? Oh, it's not ready yet. It'll be almost be ready. Hold on. Everybody's wondering why this is so horribly informal. Let's see if that's true. All right, now we'll share our screen. Um, welcome, everybody. It's Friday night here where I am. Um, it might not be Friday night where you are. It might be Friday morning or afternoon. It might be Saturday morning. It might be super late. Saturday night. Anyway, we call it Friday Night Comics. It's another Friday Night Comics workshop. Um, thanks for being here. You're at the Sequential Artist Workshop. We're a nonprofit uh, online school for comics. We're also in person in Gainesville, Florida. You can find us online at learn.sawcomics.org. Um, we have classes and stuff like that, and we have some winter courses coming up in March. Uh, Donna Dracunas is going to lead us through some Procreate tricks and stuff like that. We we have a hidden history of comics, which is a really good course. Um, Jeff Rolofson is going to talk about freelancing, and we have a reading group with, about Emily Carroll's work. Anyway, all sorts of cool stuff. Next week, Sarah Varon is going to be in this Friday night slot doing, um, oh, it says space music, but that's tonight. Um, so just ignore that. Anyway, also, you can study with Hyena Hell, who's one of our favorites here at Saw. She's launching a monthly group in March, no, February 14th which is Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. And that's the day she chose to launch it. So you can check that out at learn.sawcomics.org. You can hear about our new podcast, The Terrible Anvil, which is all about deadlines and getting stuff done anyway. Um, uh, Saw survives from tuitions and donations. So we want to thank you if you donated to this um, evening or any other event that you've donated to or in any way that you've helped. It really helps us um, offer scholarships and other things that helps us keep these events free. Um, it really helps us us thrive. Thank you so much. Um, and there's lots of ways to to support us through PayPal and stuff like that. You can become a sustaining member. There's lots of ways to do that. It's all at learn.sawcomics.org. Okay, so no inappropriate speech or imagery. Keep it PJ13, please, this evening. Share what you do on social media with the hashtag Friday Night Comics. You can tag us at Comics Workshop. Erica is Modern Enchantment. I'll put that in the chat. You'll see it. Um, you can find people sharing at members.sawcomics.org. And that's not the right, yeah, the, oh, I, that's not the PDF. Anyway, we did, we did last week, we did a PDF. Um, and the, the week before that, we did a PDF. And this week, we will do a PDF. We've been doing Friday Night Workshop PDFs. There it is. That's the one we did for this week. And if you want to find that, it is in the chat. Um, so enjoy. We are here to make space music. Stop sharing. Um, how do I do that? There we go. All right, Eric, are you are you ready to guide us through space music? I'm gonna spotlight you for now. Hi everyone. Um, I am Erica Pasqual. I am a Hawaii-based artist and illustrator. Um, I am actually uh, <laughs> recovering from a cold, so apologies in advance if I have any coughing fits. Um, so. This is an exercise that I came up with, uh, inspired by my instructors, um, Nicole Georges and Ebony Flowers. Uh, they used to do diary comics and um, potato portrait exercises, like sketchbook prompts before classes. So I kind of combined the two. Uh, so I'm gonna, usually I, this was actually designed to be done on a piece of paper. So if you have one, um, please grab one. Uh, I I just 
don't have an overhead camera, so I'm going to be using my iPad. Um, I will share screen. It's just a second. Yeah, let me know how I can help get that screen set up. Okay. Because right now it's showing the um the thumbnail, but when you're ready, we'll be ready. Okay. Let me start. Okay. Is it showing? Perfect. Yeah. So let's this up. So here's my <laughs> digital piece of paper. Um. <laughs> so Wait, you're telling me that's not a real piece of paper? That's a fake piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, so first step of the exercise. Let's see. So the first thing is at the very top, you're going to number your paper one to five, or it's really up to you how you want to do this. But you're going to list five songs um, that you've heard in the past week. So it can be the titles, it can be lyrics, whatever um, helps you just get like flow, whatever you immediately think of. Okay, I put, I'm gonna be putting these things in the chat also. Yes, my handwriting. Oops. If you have to write chicken scratch, if you got to do it really quickly, <laughs> <laughs> this is the quickest part. And then if you, once you're done listing or how's everyone feeling actually? What do you think, Tom? I've got four. I'm searching my brain, even though I've heard tons of songs that sometimes I don't know what they're called. Yeah. that's. <laughs> so I need 30 more seconds or maybe five more seconds. All right. Um, um, cool. And definitely people you can put in the chat too and it might inspire us to go listening mm. looking for music later too i'll put uh i'll put a couple of things okay so then that i i really can't read what you wrote eric what's number five <laughs> cover me what is that? Um, cover me changes family affair and holding out know, for it so random holding out for a year wow <laughs> Cool. And people are putting them in the in the chat as well. Great. Okay. We're on to part two. So you're going to choose a song, your favorite song from this list. And then moving on to the next part, a piece of paper, you're going to draw yourself as a potato singing your chosen song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, well, I am just okay. Draw yourself as a potato singing your favorite song. Okay. 
This is a song that I've been um, trying to memorize um, and it's in Ilocano. So I can only remember one line and I'm only seeing that one line in <laughs> this picture. I like how uh, gentle your potato is just very calmly singing it into the microphone held right beneath their hands. So calmly and kindly. <laughs> Mine is mine is belting for sure. That is not a note. Okay. <laughs> How are we doing? Great, I think. Oh, Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. I I, I put a Paul Simon II song in too, Aisha. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. So that is on the bottom of our piece of paper. My paper does look like yours so far. Like I've got the top and the bottom, even though your paper is <laughs> digital. Anyway. Okay. Oh, listening to some old 90s tunes. That's awesome. Okay, we're ready. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. So I'm going to flip it. So on the back of your paper, um, you're going to draw four random shapes. Uh, if you want to do squiggles, do literal shapes like that. It's totally up to you. But just oh. for... all right. Keep it organic if you want to. <laughs> random shapes. Just big on the top half of the paper? Should we choose the whole paper, just the top half? Yeah, just the top half. Okay. So maybe one will be Perry Farrell for Onita. All mine look like potatoes. I got to do something more angular. Okay, here we go. And then if you have your four shapes ready, you can start um, with the next step, which is turn them into alien creatures. Turning them into alien creatures? So you're going to draw over each one. <clears throat> And make them into creatures. I'm gonna actually like. Oh, cool. Stuff. Okay. Let's get more comfortable with this pencil. Hmm. So eyes, antenna, whatever we want to add to make them sort of. 
Are they, do they have to be singing or doing anything? Uh, not yet. Not well. They can be. It's up to oh. you how you want to draw. Just as long okay. as. Is it not a okay? Just make them into strange little. Oh, nice. What are these shapes? <laughs> wow. Okay, that's done. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great looking uh, panda alien. So cute. Yeah, this is face. This one is face down. <laughs> oh, okay. We uh, love procreate crash. Yep. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> And this uh, could be doodling. I just for time. Um, <laughs> actually, this one might be my favorite one. It might be what? This one actually might be my favorite one. It's the one I rushed on the most. That's pretty cool. Alien sunglasses. And then, I don't know what's going on here, but we love. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> <laughs> All right, super cool. Hey, yeah, I like that that right upper right one. I like the one that like with the it's got like stubble on it or something. Oh, oh, this one. Yeah, or it inspired me to add some fur to one of mine. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a rabbit thing, like a side profile something. Like <laughs> that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is choose the one that you feel like would be the most entertaining band member um the best at karaoke um, <laughs> like one when you choose this one and you're gonna move on to the next step which is oops let me do it so you're going on tour so draw your potato persona and an alien friend performing your song so i call it space music just for a simple title but so when you're do, when you're drawing this part uh remember you have the entire universe multiverse to explore and have your concert so you know uh possibilities are endless here if you ah. want to go to another solar system galaxy um if you want to do it in a space station it's totally up to you. You can have all of your alien creatures with you if you want, and not just that one. But for time, I mean, I just had 
if you choose one, but if you want to, if you want to add them on later, you can totally do that. So, um, so we should also focus on where they're doing it, huh? What, like, um, so the stage, think about the stage, um, your, yeah, the environment, everything, lighting. Oh, nice. And you're using the same song, yes, the song that you were performing um, as a potato. I might have to look up the lyrics in mine. Yeah, if you need to look up the lyrics, definitely. You can also just draw music notes if you want to. All right. Oh, are those? There is, yeah, like they're asteroids. So <laughs> <laughs> just going to draw this for <laughs> we're in space. <laughs> Let's do this. So the song that I chose, um, oh, the Ilocano song, um, it's about, um, it's talking about a mother's love. So I wanted to do like some kind of, how do I say it? Oh, right here, not here. Like a shadow performance along with the song. So uh, this is being projected onto, it was originally going to be a planet. That's why it was round. But then I thought, mm -hmm. ah, let me think. and uh, yeah, so it's going to be an entire, the song's going to be, have some kind of um, shadow performance along with it. Oh, wow, look at that. Really complicated. Um, so maybe I have some shadow creature alien things. <sighs> Part of it. Looks like a person holding a baby. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, you know what? Let me. I don't even have a place. I was gonna draw the potato and the alien inside the thing, but it's a little way too small. So I'm gonna just do a little square here, like a little panel, showing that we are actually in there. Oh, look at that. That character is great.
<laughs> so delightful. Oh my gosh. Where's the audience? Um, right here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's oh, is that a giant like stadium down below? So it's a little stadium inside some kind of ship. So like, wow. But yeah. um, and there's like this big window um, slash stage, and um, it's facing this giant asteroid, which is being used as um. you know, like almost like a projection screen, basically. And then the shadow performance is being done on there um, to go with this one. Um, so how are we doing for time? Great, it's so fun to watch you draw too. It's, it's so, <laughs> it's just so playful and, and cool. Okay. So we get an alien baby. <laughs> aliens. I'm definitely going to clean this up later. <laughs> oh, you drew the little alien. <laughs> I turn away and you drew an antenna on the character. What? This. Blend in as well. All right. This is, let's keep that out. Did it just completely stop? Yeah, it just blanked out. Okay. Um, let me see if I can. Again. Oh yeah, it just the pop up just came up. Um, mm -hmm. said your broadcast ended abruptly or unexpectedly. <laughs> You're like no kidding. <laughs> okay. And now it's frozen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so see. How is everyone is everyone done with their um concert?
<laughs> I need to add some stars and moons, I think. But should we ask and see if people want to share? This I is yeah, this is well, this is the last thing. So the world tour is beginning for us. So we're gonna get to go planet hopping, galaxy hopping, and watch it all. <laughs> um awesome. Well, we are getting some hands raised. So should we take a look? Yes. Okay. You'll have to stop sharing in order to do that. Um awesome okay great and so we'll start we have some hands up we have marlene and yisha and david and rebecca so i'll just ask them to unmute and we'll have them come on and i'll put the p the uh, link to the pdf in the um in the chat y'all there we go hi marlene hello yeah i'm greeting you from the shores of sydney australia uh, happy to see you, Tom, as usual, with all your lovely accolades and uh, adventures. Uh, lovely to meet um, Erica. Um, I don't know if I am on spotlight. Not sure. You are. Yeah, we can see you. Okay. So mine is a little bit different again. Mm -hmm. And I've chosen Middle Earth which is, wow. have a look over there. Well, firstly, um, Middle Earth is thrown into chaos. And the introduction of the scene of Middle Earth is where they survived a catastrophic event and the empire has ended. So there's nothing left. Except, very interesting, lone musos and people who write music and they are busy with a very common song in the change of space. Someone's playing a flute, a flute according to the carpenters, such a feeling. Such a feeling. Yeah. And you can see the flute. And you can see the diva singing. <laughs> then, <laughs> next one. So, uh, he takes charge, this alien, and gets volunteers to collect all the musos with their instruments or their lyrics and says, come on, let's all get together and form a circle around the earth North and Southern Hemisphere. So you can see a little bit of the Southern Hemisphere because the Northern Hemisphere is clouded in darkness. You can see Australia, of course, India, Africa, and a little bit of India. And so they all get together in the circle of happiness and getting everybody together after the cat catastrophe. Then next, the third frame, um, the aliens get together and heaven's doors open. <laughs> you can see heaven's doors open. And uh, the music and the lyricists all flow, flow through the open door and uh, the, the barren space. And there are some math mathematicians about working their, their numbers and their stats. And then they become all in, engrossed in this alien atmosphere, which becomes a cloud of possibilities. Then finally, oh, Middle Earth is going into your future. They are encased in peace and possibilities. Future generations rise up with joy. There, are, there is music and much celebration. Celebration. And they're all singing together. The diva gets a friend and they sing, We are family. My <laughs> brother, sister, and you. <laughs> So, yeah, 
I really enjoyed this, Erica, because it made me think very deeply about the progression of AI into the future <laughs> and, uh, and our willingness to uh, think laterally. I'm a grandmother mm -hmm. um, and um, I've seen two generations with a possible third generation thinking along these lines. So thank you very much. Thanks, Marlene. Awesome, thanks, Marlene. We'll go to Yesha next and then Rebecca and then Gail. So I'm gonna ask Yesha to unmute, come on screen. Hi. 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 Um, okay, I'm just gonna flip my camera um, and show you. Okay. Um, Marlene, you're a tough act to follow. So this is my <laughs> initial potato, uh, me potato. I wear yeah. compression sleeves, so she's wearing compression sleeves, singing Oh Blah Dee Blah Da. And then I chose to go with that alien, and but it's now the side view. This is the front view. This is the side view. Yeah. And I'm singing Oh Blah Dee Blah Da. And then this other alien <laughs> here is like, listening with a smile and closed eyes and saying so out of tune yet lovely and then there's <laughs> the there's the earth and the moon in the background they're they're like hanging out in space they're suspended in space you know that's it <laughs> I love the colors on that right oh. the closest thing i had was acrylic markers and like I joined late and I just grabbed them. <laughs> so Great. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I got this idea of coloring in the background from seeing what you did, by the way. So thank you for the idea. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. And thanks, Erica, for the inspiration. We'll go to Rebecca next and then Gail. Okay, here we go. Um All right, I'm loving this tonight. I love not knowing where it was going. Um, the song I chose is called Silver Dagger. I think the two most popular versions are Joan Baez and Dolly Parton, but it's a traditional song. So I think it goes back a couple hundred years. And so this is me as a potato singing, <laughs> don't sing love songs, you'll wake my mother. She's sleeping here right by my side and in her right hand, a silver dagger. She says that I can't be your bride. <laughs> <laughs> and then here are my shape aliens. Oh, wow. And I ended up choosing this one with the eyes inside the eyes because I really liked the idea of potato eyes and this form with eyes. Um, I didn't end up drawing potato eyes on myself, but for the performance, um, I put them in bed together. And <laughs> me as a potato is singing the next verse of the song, which goes, all men are false, says my mother. They'll tell you wicked loving lies. The very next evening, they'll court another, leave you alone to pine and sigh. And this time, the mother with the eyes is holding a dagger, but she has no hands, but she's still holding it. And something about her staring was, it just was very funny to me. I was very delighted by this, uh, by this practice. I love that. I'm just imagining them floating in space on a bed. It's like, there's no escape. <laughs> yeah, but still she's trying to save her daughter from the dangers of men. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank Good. you. Okay, we'll go to Gail here. Um, hello. So, wow, I'm so impressed by how much some of you all are able to do in such a short amount of time. Um, I have been obsessed with Fleetwood Mac lately because I saw a show called Stereophonic, which was based on, um their story. So in my drawing, I have Lindsay Buckingham potato head and Stevie Nicks scarf creature. And they are singing um, their own songs to each other, but like uh, alternating. So Lindsay Buckingham is singing, I know there's nothing to say someone has taken my place. And then Stevie Nicks sings, 
Uh, now here you go again. You say you want your freedom. So these are two songs <laughs> on rumors that are like they're each of them wrote a breakup song about the other person, and you know they had to they had to go on tour and sing these songs every night to each other on stage. So um, so that was my idea was just to like create that. I didn't really get to a location. Um, they're somewhere in their own little bubble, and I thought that it was. It would be a good idea to draw Lindsay Buckingham as a potato head and Stevie Nicks as a scarf creature because they need um, a little bit of a, they need their egos to be um, knocked down a little bit. So there you go. <laughs> I love a little tambourine too. <laughs> that is holding. Yeah, yeah. Hard to argue with rumors. Thanks so much, Gail. Go to Jackie and then uh, Aaron. Um. Well, here's my little alien check-ins. Um, that's my homage to Sesame Street, the girl with uh, nine toes on her foot. And I ultimately went with this one just because it was the easiest. And um, here we are in space singing Devo's Good Thing. I, I heard it because I watched the Square Pegs Marathon on Sunday. Oh, I love that show. And um, they, they had the one where Devo plays Muffy's bat mitzvah. So uh, everybody, it's a good thing. Everybody wants a good thing. Ain't it true? And there's me as a potato <laughs> with the Devo hat and the very simple alien. And everybody's like putting up their lighters and giving me the devil's horns. And That's the simplest the one. Most hardcore looking. <laughs> <laughs> it, and I just put it in like gene you know, generic space with moons and jump. The colors, though. Oh. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, super yeah, fun. Thanks, Erica. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. Talk to you again. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to Aaron. Hi, Aaron. There we go. Hello. I'm just going to show the final picture here. Whoops. This is, uh, let me see if I can get it to not be so. Oh. <laughs> um, I just accidentally smudged that part on the side. Let me see if I can erase that. Ah, anyway. Uh, so that's the potato singing Je suis so ce soir, which is a song I just can't get off my mind this week. And the little alien is playing theremin. <laughs> strange choice kind of for this song where this alien's energy is a little strange and that means i'm alone tonight uh so yeah this is my lonely potato character that was a lot of fun thank you <laughs> i gotta go look up that song i don't know that song it's a it's a beautiful song it, <laughs> if i find a theremin version i'll send it to you <laughs> please thank you that was a lot of fun all right we'll go to eli next That was fast. I was pretending <laughs> like I was done. Um, <laughs> uh, so I uh, just got done watching that show, um, I May Destroy You. Um, and it has, oh, it's trying to kick me out. Um, and it uh, has an excellent soundtrack. And um, one of the songs was uh, this gospel song. And I really like gospel music, although I'm not a religious person, but it gets like, can be really energetic. And there's this song, it's about, it's basically about, about the flood and you better, you know, act right and get on the boat because it's about to rain, but it's a really happy song. And I just pretend like it's not about doom. Um, so that was the one it's called, um, what is it called? It's called, it's gonna rain uh, by this reverend. And there's like clapping and crowds singing. And um, oh, so here's me as a potato and I'm going to be the lead singer. And then these guys here are gonna be my backup singers and keyboard player, because this one's got all the arms and lots of little fingers. Um, I was really into ELO as a child um, <laughs> and as an adult, and they had really good science fiction spaceship album covers. So I kind of ripped off their, their spaceship that's like mm. landing on earth and there's the moon and there's like the music exploding in the background. Mm. Um, 
And then here's my backup singer as I decided they should be like kind of green paramecium booger little things. And they are going to be singing the the really exciting like women's section of the song. They're high voices and they're clapping. And here's my keyboard player. He's floating around and a little jet powered. He had, he needed a little more space because he was tall. And then I didn't have time to fill in the rest. And who knows where the audience is? I guess they're down here. On Earth. <laughs> That's that. That's so cool. I love that. Thanks so much, Eli. I'm going to look at of the ELO reference. And this is so great. Thank you so much for this night tonight. So here's my four aliens. And uh, my <laughs> potatoes weren't, weren't very interesting, but I, I, the aliens were fun. And this guy's got some, this guy's got some slime coming along. So the chicken snail. And I've been listening, I've been watching an excellent documentary about Roseanne Carter Cash. And so this is, I couldn't draw, I can't sing at all. It would just be an insult to the aliens if I sang. So this is the, the uh, alien in black is Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash over here. And they're alternating with the aliens. So they sing, um, we got married in a fever hotter than a pepper sprout. We've been thinking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend Johnny Cash and that documentary. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me so far. Johnny right, Cash. We're gonna go, <laughs> go to Sarah K next and then Odinina. Let's see if Sarah comes on screen. Here we go. Hello. Uh so I did um blood by my chemical romance because I thought it would be really fun and expressive. So this is my potato. And then after this, I realized that it was bleeding through the back of the paper and I went to sketchbook time. Uh, so here's my little aliens. Uh, and I liked all these, but I thought the triangle guy was the most fun. So I just kind of went really simplistic with this. I was like, I want bold lines. I want vibes. And here's mm. the bold lines and vibes. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> There's going to be a flood. Oh. Bold, lyrics, bold lines. And I've been thinking about how I want to do it at karaoke, but it's a very silly minute and a half song to do at karaoke. So I probably never will. Uh, so yeah, thank you. This was fun. Thank you so much. So fun, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to Anita next and then uh, Lentil after that. Okay, so this was a blast. I I I didn't hear the karaoke part, so I just <laughs> did whatever. But my list was mostly like um, dance music, and then I remembered I heard nothing shocking in my collection of DVD of uh, CDs recently because I had to transfer everything. So to my computer, so nothing shocking. There's me with as a potato, <laughs> and then. It's Jane's Addiction is the song. And I don't think it's in karaoke ever. But anyway, um, there's huh. my little alien friend. And then here's some other aliens I had rejected because they're too hard to draw over and over again. And then I just got like really into like the space idea of singing. But like you can't hear yourself in space. <laughs> so like the in the angst of the 90s when i was way back a teenager well actually in college but so the potato self is singing in in space but like it's just reverberating in the in the dome of sound so it's sort of <laughs> nobody can hear me god damn it and then you know over here the guitarist is just like i'm loving this jam you know and completely clueless to the fact the singer can't be heard <laughs> but yeah it was a blast i love it it was so fun thank you i love the the science of that one yes, this is a good reminder to, for everybody to post these on social media or the m for our pdf link is in the chat lintel you're on i'm on um did some songs one of the songs i listen to a lot so obviously it's on this list was Spud Infinity, which has like a celestial and potato theme. So that worked out pretty well. <laughs> so there I was singing about the potato stuff. Um, 
There's some cute little aliens. I picked that one. Kind of looked like a camel horse speckle thing. And just the lyrics and just accepting the alien you've rejected in your own heart. That's all. Oh, wait, the lyrics are, are, Uh, it's like, what's it going to take to free the celestial body? And it said, when I say celestial, I mean extraterrestrial. I mean, accepting the alien you've rejected in your own heart. wow, Yeah. those are great lyrics. It's such a good song. Can you post that in the chat? What that song title was later? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Lentil. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go to Jen. Maybe And finish. everyone knows their song wrecks in the chat. Hi. Please. How are you? Okay. So um I ended up setting I've been on a huge prince kick recently. So um that's me as a potato singing um kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be rich to be my girl. Yeah. And then here's my um but there's my aliens. I don't know what was going on with the 3D stuff, but I ended up choosing this little dude. And uh, he got gussied up as Prince. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they're singing, the we're all singing the lyrics. Um, what is it? Don't have to be beautiful. And he's got his little goatee and his little curls and the little, yeah. So there we go. amazing I love that one on the bottom left too oh this one right here yeah thank you yeah that's the grand finale <laughs> <laughs> grand finale all right we're going back to erica erica thanks so much this was so fun we all got to do we all got to let it a little bit and do like do uh sort of virtual karaoke those of us who are maybe a little afraid to do real karaoke but those of us Oh, I think we got one more too in the chat. But those of us who like to do real karaoke, this was sort of a warm up. But those of us who are a little scared to do it, this was kind of virtual. We got Edgar. I'm glad Edgar could could join us. Hang on. Let's see. Ask to unmute. We'll, we'll replace. There we go. Well, thank you, Erica, as always, for the uh, in, for the inspiration and Tom for making it available. Uh, I had many songs to choose from, but I chose this. The Mars Hut Hut Hut. Proudly presents Edgar and the Extraterrestrials singing I Have Dreamed from that fabulous 20th century musical, The King and I. And here I am as the potato. Alone and awake, I've looked at the stars, the same that smile on you. And time and again, I've thought all the things that you were thinking too. I think that you're a potato. <laughs> and then the other, the trio, because he has another face. I have dreamed what a joy you'll be. And we're all performing on Tom Saputo's flying stage with the uh, uh, planets and stars beneath us. So thank you. <laughs> Any feedback you may have? <laughs> Who is Tom Saputo? Tom Saputo is a very talented musician who's in the Washington, D.C. area. He's been around for 50 years. Uh, he records. He records people. He also has open mics. So you can get up uh, at a restaurant and sing a song and... Um, Nobody will throw tomatoes at you. He'll play keyboards or other instruments while you sing. But he's actually extremely talented. You can find him on YouTube. So I thought I'd give him a little credit tonight. Amazing. Yeah, that's great. And look at that third that third singer with the microphone pointed at, at the character's belly. Terrific. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had five wonderful aliens. Maybe next time I'll fit them all on the stage. <laughs> I think people are asking if you'll sing every every Friday night for us. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, Tom. All right, we'll go <laughs> back to Erica. I thought I saw Michael for a second. I don't know if Michael wants to appear back. But anyway, Erica, thanks. This was so fun. Thanks, Tom. And got, Thanks, everybody. And we, got, and we got serenaded at the end. 
<laughs> um, so tell us what you're working on. And then... um, uh, yeah, well, I mean, currently I'm just teaching workshops, local workshops. Um, and then I'm also trying to illustrate a couple of uh, graphic novels. Um, still working on the stories and the pitch packets. Um, and then I'm also working on a children's book. Um, but that's still in the works. I mean, all uh, right. So, yeah. And we'll find you on a, a modern. Uh, modern. And yeah. Most right. I mostly on Instagram. And that, and again, I'm going to put that in the chat. I'm going to hit that in the chat. If you want to upload for the PDF, that, that link is in the chat. I'm going to ask you all to unmute and to um, give Erica a little shout out as we say good night or good morning. Um, Thanks. Hello. Thanks, Erica. Thank you. 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 Thank you.